I remember as a child before Passover, my mother, she would go to through the house, cleaning the house. This was so important to clean everything before the Pesach, Passover evening. Where we, and she prepared all this food. We had the whole family together. This is a family thing. It's not just a throw a dinner. It's really a lot of preparation. And you ask, I always ask myself, why did I have to do that? But then when you go to the scriptures in Exodus, you know, Exodus 12 talks about for seven days, no yeast is to be found in your houses. And, and, and so they will clean room by room, make sure there's no yeast left, and they will take all the bread out, and for seven days we'll eat matzah. And then the whole thing of, of coming together, reading the, the different, uh, the Haggadah, the book, that there is a ceremony, and uh, they're doing all the symbols, how God in the mighty hand delivered us from slavery to freedom. And when I, uh, I remember this, this was a very special, it was like the highlight. And then, uh, of course, to us, it's very clearly that it's our Passover lamb, you know, uh, the, the angel of death passed over the door because the, the blood of the lamb was on the door. So they were saved from, from, from death. But those who did not have the blood of the lamb on the doorpost, they were killed. The firstborn were killed. And, and for me, that was a very special time to be with a family, to celebrate, to, to do all the blessings and spend time together. And uh, for us as believers, we do this every year because we gather all our families, all our children and grandchildren. We do all the ceremonies and we explain how God has been so faithful to us, saving us from slavery, from death to life and, to, and brought us to the promised land. So always is a good memory of Passover.